Today I'm going to show you an insect lesson on symmetry. And we are going to start by making the three main body parts of an insect. The three main body parts are the head, thorax, and abdomen. So to do that, I have selected a white background and my students are able to select whatever color that they want to. And then I have some scrap paper here and I chose three different colors. I have green, yellow, and red so that I can have three different colors for my three different body parts. So to start off, I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half. And if I want to, I can draw a shape with my pencil or I can just go ahead and cut it. So I'm going to draw just kind of a wavy line that comes and curves back around and then I'm going to cut along that line. And when I open that up I will have a shape that is now symmetrical on both sides and I think I might plan to use that for my head. So next, I would move on to the thorax, and I'm going to fold this piece of paper in half, and I will cut two different shapes out of those to make a thorax and an abdomen. So now I've cut out three parts. I've chosen this one for my head, and this one is going to be my thorax, so I'm going to glue that right here in the middle. And next, I'm going to glue on the bottom part, which is the abdomen. And I'm not going to glue them down to my background paper yet. I'm just using this to make sure that everything fits on the paper. I'm going to leave it just like that still so that I can glue legs underneath here next. The next step is to work on making six legs. So I have cut six rectangles. And you can draw your legs on if you want to. Or you can go ahead and just cut them. So I'm going to cut... They don't all six have to be exactly the same because if the insect was moving, it might be different positions for different legs. Um, they might have a little claw on the front if you wanted to make one. Um, so you can cut whatever shape legs that you want to. So I've cut out six legs here and then I'm going to position them around my insect. And then the next thing I'm going to do is think about the wings. So I did cut out little half shapes. I cut out two half circles. And since they were green, I'm going to be putting them down here on my abdomen instead of up on that thorax. But insects have two or four wings. So I'm going to do four. So I've got another set here I'm about to cut out. I fold this piece of paper in half. It's a longer rectangle. And now I'm going to, I think, put these wings right here so those can kind of flop up. If I want these wings right here to flop up, what I'm going to do is fold a little bit of it. So I just made a little crease like that. You can see. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side again so that they're symmetrical. So I'm going to make the same type of fold. And I'll flip that over. And I'm going to glue those down. So now I have wings, I have six legs, and my next step would be to make antennas. So I think I'm going to look through some of my scraps and make some antenna. Next we are going to add antenna. And I folded my piece of paper in half and then I drew the shape that I wanted. So now I'm going to cut along that line. I kind of drew a spiral line. You can do straight, you can do with a circle on the top whatever shape that you want to, and then cut that out as carefully as you can. Going along my lines. Now I have two, and I don't want people to see my pencil line, so I'm going to fold that one, glue it down this way. Oops, kind of ripped that, but I can glue it back together. So I'm going to flip this one and glue it down this way. And then I'll flip this one and glue it down that way. Next, I'm going to add eyes. So I grabbed a piece of orange construction paper. And I'm going to cut kind of a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be whatever shape that you want it to be. And then I can place those where I want them. I also grabbed a hole puncher. 
so that I could punch a couple of black pieces there. And they kind of fell out. So then I can glue them on like that. I'll do one more. Here it is. Now my bug has some eyes, and I'll glue those together. And then I could do things like use those little dots to make a pattern on my wings. I could also cut different things like these striped papers. I'm going to glue one on right here. I cut up some pink paper with these zigzag scissors. So I'm going to glue one on there. And on the same side, since we're working on symmetry, I'm going to glue on the same kind of piece over on the other side. And then I'm going to turn this and trim it off with my scissors. So it's not going off the edge of the wings. It's just as a design on the wings. And I liked these little dots on here, so I'm going to put one on each end of the wing. So one's going to go right here. One's going to go over here. And I can keep adding little paper details like that to finish up my bug. So what I have done is continue to work on making things symmetrical by adding different designs on each side. And I added some dots down to my wings, and I added some stripes in the wings as well. And now that I have things symmetrical, I think that I'm done with the construction paper part of the insect. This is a lesson on symmetry, creating a symmetrical insect.